Yeah. Okay, guys, I want to show you what I've got. Um, if, if you still need color pencils, you need to let me know and let me know uh, before Friday so that I'll gather you some. Um, if you don't, you're good. If, you're, if your parents want to buy you some and they ask you what kind, I, I'm going to tell you I personally like Prismacolor the best. I have this big one. This would be a nice Christmas present maybe if, if you really like the color. I like Prismacolor because just, they just seem brighter. But any color pencils will do. So don't don't worry if you don't have those. You can't afford those. And you're going to get them from me from school. And I think uh, the ones that we ordered from school are Prismacolor, I think. I, I think they're a good brand. So if you need those, you need to let me know before Friday and uh, so that I could get them ready for you to pick up. Now, this is what I'd already done before class started. This is what I did in class. So I'm going to start a new one and show you. Now, you remember I said you've got to do six of them. You're going to do with the analogous colors. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this and show you how I want you to do this. Now, if you don't have, I've got all these intermediate colors in my set. If you don't have those, you don't need those because you can make the intermediate colors yourself. If you don't have white or black, you don't really need those either. So I'm going to show you how you can do this. The thing is, you're going to use the analogous colors and you want to make your paint splatter look three-dimensional. So there's ways to do that with and without the black and the white. And I'm going to show you that. So I know one of the sets is yellow, yellow, green, and green. Now, if you only have green and yellow, you can make yellow green. And the way you make yellow green, I'm going to show you that first before I do my, my thing. So, so if you've only got yellow and green, if you set down some green and do it lightly, don't, don't do real, a lot of pressure on there. And then you come here and you get the yellow. And you go over it, and there you now you've got a yellow green, or you could put the yellow first and do a little bit of the green on top of that. So actually, we've got two yellow greens. Whichever one you like better, you see if I put the yellow the yellow down first and go lightly, I get a little bit lighter color. Then I could still take the yellow and go over that some more. So see now I've got a yellow green. So that's how you make it if you don't have it. Now, I'm lucky enough to have that because I have that in that set. You may not, and like I said, you don't need to. But you're going to take, the, the best way to do this is to take the darkest color and start with it first. So you're going to make a splatter shape, which is like this. And around... And around it's almost like a clover and then in a couple of these spots I'm gonna make like a teardrop shape which is like the splatter coming out and that just adds to the effect it's just kind of nice okay so now now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start coloring around the edges with the darkest which in this set the darkest is the green And then I'm going to take the yellow green and come along here and see I'm going to kind of go over the green too with that yellow green just kind of blend that in there and then the yellow last because that's the lightest color in this in in this analogous color scheme and I'll kind of leave that so if you don't have white I can just kind of leave that white and then if, if you've got an eraser you can also take the eraser and just kind of erase in there in the center and then that that leaves that a little I'm gonna take this yellow and go around here I think I went a little bit too dark too far you're gonna get better at this the more you do the better you're gonna get because it's like anything else, it's like playing sports. 
The more you practice, the better you get. So your first one may not be as good, but by the time you're on that sixth one, I guarantee you're going to have figured it out and it's going to look better. Now, if you've got a black or you've got a white, so I'll do this one. So I can actually kind of come in it. Well, let me do the green first. So I'm going to do some green here. See, and I can actually take and use less pressure and make that green lighter too by not pressing as hard as I'm coloring. So I'm going to come along right here. See how that's lighter? It's the same color pencil but I'm lighter as I'm coming in. So I'm not pressing as hard. I'm not pressing down as hard. I'm easing up. And if I wanted to use the black, I gotta be really careful though, I don't want it to go too, too dark, but I could add some black in here just to add a little shade around the edge. I am gonna shade underneath a little bit to add. So I will be shading that too. But I could add just a little bit here. And then if you have a white, you can also do white in the center. And I know you can't see this because it's white on white, but when I go to this yellow and I go there that's when that, that white will kind of show up because it'll look just a little bit different. Now I'm going to press a little harder on this green. So if you don't have a yellow green, you can make that yellow green. You could just use yellow and green. And by blending the yellow and the, and the green together, then you've got a yellow green. You can see that. You can see how that right in here, that part right there, is a yellow green now. I've made a yellow green just using the yellow on top of the green. And you can always go on top of these colors and blend them to you till you like the looks of them. Now see what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this look like it's it's a bubble. It's coming up. I do think I went too dark on the edge here in this. I think I did better on this one. And you're going to find that. You're going to find that some of them you do look better than others. Like I said, it's practice. It's just like playing a sport. You got to practice to get good. That's why if, you, if you're in athletics, if you're playing basketball or something, that's why you have to go to practice. The only way to get better. Another thing, if you've got a white, white becomes a blender to help blend these, these together too. So it'll make them lighter, but watch if, I, if I, I'm doing this with the white and it, that white will carry that lighter green into that green. I don't know if you can really truly see that on, the, on this video, but I'm hoping you can. I can go back and forth. And I'm telling you, you will get better the more you do. Like I said, you'll see the improvement just from your first one to your last one.
I hope you have a pencil sharpener because that's another thing that you'll always be doing as you're coloring. You're going to want a pencil sharpener. I don't think we have any left at school. So I'm, I'm hoping you have a pencil sharpener at home. Let me know if you don't. And if I have to, I'll go buy some. Of course, then you've got to come to school and pick them up, but let me know. See, some of these I didn't even use white. So you don't need white. Now hopefully you do have a black. If you don't have a black, you could probably just use a pencil for the shading part. So I'm going to shade this. I don't want to shade both sides. I'm going to say like the light's hitting a certain direction. And we've got more shade on one side than the other. So I'm going to shade this side and not that side. So just kind of add a little shade. Shading underneath like this kind of grounds it, makes it look like it's actually on the ground and not floating in the air. If I wanted to come in here with the black, I could too. I don't like what I did here, so I'm going to kind of erase that. Color, you'll find color pencils don't erase quite as well as a regular pencil does. Okay. A little bit more in here. So there, so that's the yellow yellow, green, and green. Now they're analogous because they're right next to each other. So analogous means side by side. So now I'm going to do another one. I think I'll stick with the yellow. I'll do the yellow, the yellow orange, and the orange. Okay, so the same thing. So orange is the darkest of that three. So I'm going to outline that with, with the orange. And if you run out of room, you can't get on six on one page. Don't worry about it. Turn it over, do another page. And if you want to do four of them, do four of them. And if you don't have a yellow-orange, remember, 
you can do it just with the yellow and the orange because when you blend that yellow and that orange together, you're going to get yellow orange anyway. So I could just do it with these two colors. All right, there you go. So you're going to do this, like I said, six times. Yellow, yellow, orange, orange. Yellow, yellow, green, green. You're gonna do it with red, red, orange. Orange, red, orange, and red, orange. You're gonna do it with red, red, violet and violet and then you're also going to do it with red oh i said both the reds now the blues so so blue blue violet and violet and blue blue green and green okay so um have fun enjoy yourself uh and like i said i know you're going to get better as you keep doing it you're going to you're going to end up getting better i promise